What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another update. It's actually going to be my first update for Project Dreamliner. Even though it's kind of late, given on how much progress I've made on the plane itself. Safe to say that at least I did a little update here so that you guys would know what I've been doing all this time. Anyways, let's move on to what I have done recently. So, I have to be honest with you guys. This has to be the most perfect model I have ever created. The nose section over here is really smooth. And I love it. I 100% love it so much. Especially the long fuselage of the stretched 787-10. Yes, this is the Dash 10 version. And if you're asking why not the Dash 9 or the Dash 8, I figured the 787-10 would look cool because I'm actually fond, more fond of airplanes with longer fuselages. Take the 777 for example, quite pa. And even though Project Challenger ha doesn't have a long fuselage, I still find it interesting because this is actually the first project that I have that only has a single piece for the wing. In almost all of my models, they have two separate pieces, one on the inner and the other on the outer. But the Project Challenger only has one single piece for the wing. And yes, the twin piece wing, twin piece wing concept as I like to call it, is actually on all of my uh, models that I made that came from Hermacraft and even though um, Vietnam Airlines isn't from Hermacraft, um, it still has the double piece wing and yes 787 is going to have this kind of concept as well. I, I really find this concept um, intriguing because yeah, you can really get that trailing edge almost perfect along, especially the wingtip here, it's kind of cool. And yeah, it's just a short update, but I want to point something out. So, you guys might have noticed, this spot isn't usually empty. There's supposed to be a Delta Boeing 757-200, uh, who's supposed to be here well about that I have some bad news guys recently my cat has mauled all of my planes here as you have seen in my um, channel updates yeah my cat has viciously ripped my planes to shreds not really into shreds just um, enough to damage them so much and yes um, that cat might have ripped off an engine or two from one particular model. And I'm not going to go deeper into that actually because it's personal for me. But I will show them in a completely different video. Which is dedicated especially for my forgotten models. Yes, even though those models are um, not going to be shown in my future videos, they still have a place here in my heart because those models actually became better and better till I eventually reached this level of paper crafting and yeah here we are now so yeah you guys thank you so much for your support to this channel thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next update hopefully I will get the wings done peace out